Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal divided as Justice Ugu resigns. In a shocking and unprecedented move, Nigerian Justice Bulukoromo M. Ugu has resigned from the bench, citing demands from the executive branch that he believes would destroy the country's democracy. In a statement, Justice Ugo said that siding with the government on this matter would be the death of Nigerians' democracy and that he could not in good conscience remain silent. His resignation has sent shockwaves through the country and raised serious questions about the state of Nigerians' democratic institutions. According to Justice Ugo's statement, he was asked to cripple the independence of the judiciary by ruling in favor of a certain political candidate, whom he did not name but is widely believed to be Bola Ahmed Tinibu. In addition to this, he was asked to suppress evidence and dismiss cases that could have an impact on the election. Justice Ugo's resignation has caused a serious uproar and a setback to the activities of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, which we recall that the ruling of Progressive Congress APC has denied reports that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu had engaged in a telephone conversation with the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, regarding the possible outcome of his case at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. We have become aware of a decidedly mischievous and intentionally misleading tweet by one Mr. Jackson Ude. He alleged that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu was in a telephone conversation with the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, in which the Chief Justice of Nigeria purportedly told the President and the All Progressive Congress to prepare for a presidential election rerun. Party spokesman Felix Mocha said in a late statement, he said it is disturbing and disgraceful for Mr. Ude to fabricate a falsehood of this kind on a matter of serious national importance that is actively under review by the Presidential Election Petitions Court. Part of the statement reads, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu and our party won the last presidential election without a doubt and do not have any need to engage in a side conversations with the Chief Justice of Nigeria regarding pending petitions before the Presidential Election Petition Court. As the core democratic that he is, the President respects the right of aggrieved candidates in the election to seek redress for any grievances that they may have the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Electoral Act provides effective guarantees of that right. The Presidential Election Petition Court should be afforded the time and space to perform its important constitutional and statutory duty of of adjudicating and delivering a verdict 
in a matter and any matter without needlessly calling the integrity of our judges into question, falsehood and conjectures by the likes of Mr. Ude only aims to inflame political passions, create doubts and panic, and preemptively undermine the verdict of the courts in these important matters. We are confident that Nigerians are smarter and more discerning than to be affected by this opposition brand of tasteless and crass mercenary expedition. We should recall also that the United States placed ban on the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Aruola, and six other justices of the Supreme Court of Nigeria over the delivery of controversial and inciting judgments. Besides Ariwola, the other Apex Court justices whose identities were revealed by a highly placed source are Musa Tajido Muhammad, Sensus Mwezi, and Justice Kujirat Kekere Ekon. It was also learned that their ban was connected to questionable judgments they gave including the controversial judgment that made Senator Hope Uzodima the governor of Imo State in 2020, as well as the judgments that recognized Senate President Godswill Lakbabu and his predecessor, Senator Ahmed Lawan, as winners of their senatorial elections. We shall also Recall that Uzodima, who came forth in the 2019 governorship election, was controversially declared winner of the election by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. In the case of Lawan and Ababu, the Supreme Court ruled in separate judgments that both senators who did not participate in their party's primary election are the party senatorial candidates. Lawan and Ababu were presidential aspirants as at the time the party held its primaries for their senatorial district, which legally ruled them out of the senatorial contest. While they both stepped down for Bola Ahmed Tinibu, who later won the presidential ticket and is now the president of Nigeria. Senatorial candidates had emerged from their senatorial zones to represent the party in the election. However, the embattled Supreme Court justices got wind off of their ban to enter the United States after they were de de denied entry to the country to attend seminars. Justice Econ was the first to be informed of her visa ban. The source added, the ban has become a burden on justices of the Supreme Court.